All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol WKHS Workhorse Group Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Workhorse Group Inc. has actually had a slight run early in the day. It hit new highs of 1936 recently, right? These are the highest points that we've reached in this slight bullish run. And more than almost 50% or maybe even more than that almost like 50 to 60% of the gains that we saw as it was working its way up and it started from around 1590 all the way to 1936 it has already been eaten away and it lasted only what three days two days the run that was the run and it dipped that was it and it leveled off below the 50-day moving average and we're right now at 1681 so what is important for tomorrow and what is important for the next coming days so I want to say welcome to all my first-time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow and to all my subscribers welcome back and at the end of this video there's going to be a trivia question and I want you guys to stay tuned to answer that question and that way, not only do you know the question, but by commenting it down below, you will be discussing and answering a question about an important cue for the next coming days so that any viewer or investor that missed it has the opportunity to go ahead and see it in the comments. So I look forward to your guys' answers. Let's move this support to its new location and our resistance to its new location. So we're gonna see here what happened where we're at and why these numbers will be important for tomorrow and also the coming weeks so right now we are below the 50-day moving average the 50-day moving average is 1721 very important number as long as we're below it we're in bearish territory the moment we're above it we're in bullish territory so the lowest point before this run even started because you could see that we were in a bearish trajectory was down here at 1514 super important number to keep in mind as this continues to hit newer lows if it does because we're in bearish territory so 1514 is the lowest point if that gets broken through this could be on its way to newer lows and pulling further away from the 50 day moving average and the second most important number is up here at 1936 where the bulls actually got rejected and started to go in a bearish trajectory this is the highest point reached 1936 so 1936 is the highest point and the lowest points down here at 1514 two of the most important numbers for the next coming weeks to go ahead and pay close attention next coming days and weeks not just weeks but next coming days and weeks depending on the volatility of whichever direction this goes but for tomorrow these are the important numbers based off of our 50 day moving average and our resistance and supports so for the bulls to even get back up towards the 50 day moving average to get back over it and into bullish territory they need to break through the highest point reached in this slight leveling off and bullish turnaround but this is a very small momentum to say that the bulls are starting to gain control or there's some momentum being built here they need to pull away from this resistance and get closer to the 50 day moving average but this has been in a very steep bearish run so 1691 is the first step to turn that into a support pull away from it reach newer highs new resistance levels and cross the 50 day moving average to get back into bullish territory so that's the first step that does not signify that the bulls have gained control and that the bulls are actually on their way into bullish territory this is just the beginning catalyst and the first step to turn 1691 into a support and pull away from it to reach new highs and new resistance levels. On the other hand, we have what the bears want. The bears want to cross this support. By doing this, we're already in bearish territory and this just signifies that the bears are getting this deeper into bearish territory, pulling it away from the 50 day moving average of 1721 in a downward direction. So if 1625 is broken through, this signifies that the bears are gaining more leverage and control over this chart. And I would emphasize to all investors, 
pay close attention to the behavior of the stock, how quickly is it hitting newer lows, and pulling away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction. So if that is broken through, pay close attention to how it's reacting on its way down. And are the bulls trying to reappear? Let's say it does break through support. It's hanging out around here. Are the bulls trying to reappear to bring this back up? Or is it on its way down to newer lows? You need to pay close attention to the behavior of this stock and what is going on because this support level just signifies that we're pulling further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction. And that support level is 1625. Again, keep in mind those two numbers, 1514 and up here at 1936, so that you can go ahead and pay attention to those numbers for the next coming days and weeks. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. So the trivia question. The trivia question for today's video is, what are the most important points in today's video? No, I'm kidding. That's too broad. But what are the two most important numbers in this whole entire trajectory here from it going bullish and now going bearish what are the two most important numbers for the next coming days and weeks that's today's question what are the two most important points for the next coming days and weeks this is all important here but what were the two important points and cues and points of reference for the next coming days and weeks I look forward to seeing your guys's answers down below and as always Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index. There's going to be a video popping up in regards to that. I go into more detail about it in the video, but it's a pop-up video that I want you guys to go ahead and check out if you haven't had the chance to see it. But I talk about the dates that the S&P 500 index is rising and why it's rising on these specific dates. And I put the charts and the dates side by side and it's the dates that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets, or at least starting the scheduled pumps for the next term. So it usually happens weekly, and it's like on a monthly scheduled basis. And I do weekly videos, a weekly series on that. I want you guys to check it out. Don't miss out on it. But in that video, I discuss in more detail why it's important that the S&P 500 index is rising. And what does that mean for us? Well, there's individual ticker symbols within the S&P 500 index rising anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it doesn't sound like a lot but per share that does add up and like i always say profits are profits so check out the video i go into more detail about it it's not a way to guarantee profits i'm not there to tell you to buy sell or hold anything individually or specifically i'm just there to inform everyone on the one thing that many people are overlooking or may not even be aware of that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses check it out it should be popping up soon if it hasn't already and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money